Hey, this is Dr. Barry. For just a few minutes, let's talk about a very important topic. Which diet is best for your kidneys? Is a low carbohydrate, high healthy fat diet best for your kidneys or is a high carb, low fat diet? best for your kidneys. Let's dive into this topic because there are so many people that want to know. In fact, there's an epidemic of kidney failure in the United States today. The incidence of kidney failure has doubled since the 1970s. And so obviously something's going on that's destroying our kidneys and we need to figure out what it is. So if you know someone who maybe has some kidney problems or is even on dialysis, then share this video with them, but better yet, share it with their family members so that they won't have to go through the same ordeal, okay? Now let's talk about this. Something has to be causing all this kidney damage in the United States and in the world, as a matter of fact. What is it? Is it, is it too much fat? Is it too much protein? Is it too many carbohydrates? We really need to find out the answer to this because back when I was a kid, I don't even know of there being a dialysis clinic within 150 miles of the small town that I grew up in. And now almost every small town in America has a dialysis clinic. And that's where you go if you have kidney failure and you have to have dialysis. So that's terrible. There shouldn't be that many dialysis clinics in the United States in these very, very small towns. We shouldn't need that much dialysis. Why do we have all these episodes of kidney failure? What's going on? So a lot of people want to say, oh, if you're worried about your kidneys, then you should cut back on saturated fats, right? But when you actually look at the research, there's not a single link that can be made scientifically between a, a high saturated fat diet and kidney failure. There's no research that even suggests that that's the case. So I'm not sure why some people say that. Then also you hear a lot about, oh, well, too much protein will damage your kidneys, right? But the problem is, is when you look into the research behind that, there's none. There's nothing that shows that eating uh, even a high protein diet will increase your risk of kidney damage or kidney failure if you have normal kidney function. And so I'm not sure where that's coming from. I actually posted a couple of links down below to research studies so you can look into this in more detail yourself. But that only leaves one more macronutrient to talk about, and that's carbohydrates. And so what looks like has happened from the 1970s until today is that we've steadily increased the amount of highly processed sugar and wheat and grains that we eat on a daily basis. And so the leading cause of chronic kidney disease, do you know what that is? Can you guess what it is? It's not fat overdose and it's not protein overdose. It's, it's diabetes. That's the leading cause of kidney failure in the United States. And then a close second is high blood pressure or hypertension. And so if we could just take control of those two things, we would wipe out the epidemic of kidney failure in the United States and perhaps even the world. Now, um, there are other causes of kidney failure, of course, but these are by far and away the most common causes. And so they're the ones we need to focus on. They're the 80%. And so we need to focus all of our energy and all of our resources on stamping those out. And so if it's not high fat, then we don't have to worry about fat. We can eat as much healthy fat as we want. That won't harm our kidneys. And then when you really look at the research and ignore the expert opinion, but just look at the actual research, protein looks pretty darn safe too. So we can stop worrying about those. But so when you eat carbohydrates, especially sugars and grains, that immediately turns to glucose in your bloodstream and it spikes your blood sugar. And then that causes your pancreas to excrete lots of insulin. So you have an insulin spike to try to pull that blood sugar spike back down. And so chronically high blood sugar and chronically high insulin both cause inflammation and they both cause damage in the tiny arteries that feed your kidneys. OK, and that damages those arteries and they start to close off and you start to have tiny infarcts or, or dying of little amounts of tissue in the kidneys. And before long, you don't have enough kidney function left to clean your blood, which is what the kidneys do. Basically, the liver breaks down toxins. It doesn't store them, as a lot of people say. It doesn't do that. It breaks them down. And then the kidneys excrete 
the bro broken down products into your urine. So you pee out the poison. That's what your kidneys do. But when you've lost enough kidney function, then you have kidney failure or chronic kidney disease or CKD. And so we stage it, stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, five, and then dialysis. And so what I would love to do is prevent you from ever even developing stage one chronic kidney disease. And to do that, I need you to start eating this diet, okay? It's the most protective diet for the kidneys that I've ever seen. And it's the ketogenic diet or the low carb, high healthy fat diet. Now, the ketogenic way of eating that I recommend is a moderate protein. But even if you decide to do a higher protein version of it, I don't think that it will harm your kidneys at all. And I don't think there's any research that shows that to be the case. So I need you to protect your kidneys. And in order to do that, I need you to cut down on the amount of carbohydrates that you eat. Most importantly, cut down on the sugars, cut down on the grains. And the highly processed combination of these two that we mix with vegetable oils, and then we put it in cereal boxes and cracker boxes and bread bags and pretend that those things are healthy because they're not, okay? So what destroys your kidneys is not too much fat. It's not too much protein. It's too many carbohydrates and then especially the worthless empty carbohydrates of sugar and grains. So please keep doing your research. Keep learning. If you have early kidney disease, you've got to catch on to this, okay? Even if your doctor tells you, oh, you need to avoid too much protein, it'll harm your kidneys. Respectfully say, doctor, I'd love to see the research that backs that up and see what he produces. And if he does produce a study that shows it, please email it to me immediately because I'd love to see it. So if you want to know more about this ketogenic diet that I'm talking about, I've got a whole series of videos that I'll put either here or here. I'm never sure which where it shows up. But you can watch those videos for free and you can learn all about this diet that will protect your kidneys better than any other diet can. Okay, this is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.